Hey everybody. All right. Which one of those AK magazines you are looking at is the 30 round magazine and which one's the 25 round magazine? Is it this one or is it this one? Well, this one, you got a clue, don't you? This one's shorter on the bottom. It's shorter on the top. On oh, the wait a minute. It's only shorter on the bottom. I was wrong, right? Obviously, that's the 25 rounder. On oh, no, the wait. Are you sure? What's your guess now? Look at them very carefully. You think I've lost my mind, don't you? Well, let's do this to help you out a little bit. Whoa! Now you're really confused, aren't you? You feel like you've been drinking too much or something? Well, actually, it's just an illusion. You know, the same thing I suffer from most of the time. <laughs> it is a, it is a, a visual uh, a, illusion. It really is. Uh, I get fooled by that myself. They're both 30 round magazines. So if you're ever fooled by that, I don't know. One of you can explain it, not me. Hickok 45, messing with you a little bit. I guess I'm in a good mood. Well, I'm always in a pretty good mood, but I'm especially in a good mood when I have an AK to shoot with 762 by 31. 39, excuse me, ammunition. So let's do a little bit of that. What we have here, as you could probably tell, is uh, uh, Sentry Arms, uh, the C39. It, this thing's been out for, I think, three or four years, maybe, but it's not really been on my radar. It seems that there's been more press about it lately, and I, I wasn't aware somehow that they had this American made AK, all American made, as they say. All the parts are, are made in, in this country, supposedly. And it's got a milled receiver, and uh, it's, it's gotten some pretty good reviews that I've seen. So I was pretty interested in taking a look at it. I gave Bud's a call, Bud's Gun Shop. They sent us one, which we appreciate. So we're going to put it through its paces. We've already shot it about 200, 250 times. And uh, so far, it's, it's doing all right. So we're going to shoot a little bit more right now and uh, show you a little bit about it. Okay, so let's see if, uh, if it will work. We've got a Tapco magazine in it. All right, well, let's just start out on the red plate. See if I can pop that thing at all. I won't shoot it too much before I take it apart here. I don't want to get it too hot. All right, not bad. I see a two liter. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet. One more on the plate. Yeah, I should shoot till I miss, but I won't. Before it gets too hot, let's take a look at it. Let's take the magazine out and empty it, like they did in, the, what was the movie, Captain Phillips. Do you remember the scene, if you saw that movie, where the guy, uh, I think uh, Tom Hanks talks the guy into emptying or unloading the AK while he's trying to beat the, what, the window out or something? He's banging on something. And so he takes a magazine out and he continues beating on, I think it's the window. Well, he doesn't take anything out of the chamber. So anyway, we can never remind ourselves of that, can we, too many times. So there's nothing in the, in the chamber. All right. And uh, so yeah, this is a C-39. And it's, I guess I would say maybe surprisingly uh, well made. It feels good. Not that I'm, I'm not a, a Sentry Arms bash or anything. I know that the reviews of Sentry Arms is mixed and you can get something that's well made from them. The Wasser tins and all those, I've had those. Uh, some are good, some are not. But this is kind of made from the ground up, I guess. And, uh, you know, it's it seems to be a, a nice firearm. And that's what most people are are discovering. Now, this, you know, it's got its detractors and negative and positive uh, reviews. But I think for the most part, it, it's rather positive. Let's take a look at the inside. I'm gonna snap it. It's got a Tapco trigger. Oh, nice. If you remember, or you look back on some of the older videos, I had a Wasser 10 with a Tapco trigger in it. And oh, I used to rave about that trigger. It's great. Let's bring out. Hammer. You know, it, uh, it just seems, you know, I have an arsenal. I'm, I'm an arsenal guy, and uh, I love my arsenal SGL 20. 
and when I take this apart, I don't I don't get that ooh yuck feeling or anything. It uh, it may not be an arsenal, but it feels a lot like it and uh, the action of it. And you notice it looks like all AK except for the trigger spring. It doesn't have that coil spring in there. But it's pretty much interchangeable, at least with a lot of parts. Uh, it's not totally interchangeable. As I understand, the, the, the furniture is not interchangeable with like any AK furniture. Uh, so you have to kind of check into that. Although Century offers uh, different furniture for it, they offer uh, about three or four or five different versions of this thing. If you look at their website, they've got a tactical model. This is the sporter model. They've got some with wooden you know, furniture on it and everything else. They're saying on their website that they have chrome line barrels, the two four, 2014 models. So I, I have a hard time determining whether it's chrome lined or not, uh, but I, I assume this one's chrome lined. That's what they advertise. So uh, you might want to check before you purchase one if that's important to you. But this milled receiver is a thing that usually ends up costing pretty big bucks in an AK. It just is more expensive because they start with a big block of steel and mill that thing out. And uh, it makes for hey, a lot of people you know, regard that as a stronger AK. A lot of people will say it doesn't matter, just makes it heavier. You know, uh, i tell you the truth, the verdict's out for me. I, I wouldn't mind having another AK myself and maybe having a milled one because I've got a good stamped one. But I think actually originally uh, Kalashnikov meant for it to be a stamped receiver, believe it or not, if you study the history of it. But uh, it is it is made well. It seems to be made well. The, the, a couple of the, the bad things, the criticism would have the... Uh, Little lever here is loose, and I've tried to tighten that up. It works, but uh, it's, it's it's very loose. I've pulled it up here and bent it a little bit. It seems to be okay now, but it has an adjustable rear sight, which is unusual for an AK. You know, your front sight is just more like an AR front sight. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? And you don't have you know don't have the adjustment up there. You don't need it because the the rear sight is adjustable for windage. And uh, you have a different kind of flash hider up here. This is more of a proprietary flash hider that the, I think God, whoever makes it, but uh, seems to work. And I, I kind of like that smaller configuration of it. Uh, I like the AK-74 style I have in my arsenal, but it's about that long, you know. It feels fine. Let's put it back together and uh, shoot it some more. Uh, you, again, you get mixed reviews on anything from Century and, and even this firearm. We, we want to keep it and shoot it as much as we can, and uh, we'll keep you posted on, on how it's doing. But uh, so far, like I said, we've shot it, we've had it for several days and have shot, uh, I don't know, 250 times, something like that. Wolf ammo, uh, Tula, we've used the Tapco magazines and uh, the Circle 10 Bulgarian, which I love. That's really about all I use. And you get two Tapco magazines with it. And uh, it's cranked right along, no problems. As you would expect from an AK, right? Because they are supposed to work. That's one thing about an AK. They are supposed to work. They generally do. But, it, uh, you know, I'm not an AK expert, but I like them. They, they really grow on me, have grown on me more and more over the years. Uh, they're just fun. I love the cartridge, the 762 by 39 uh, some people I see on the, online, they criticize this cheap, uh, you know, polymer, hollow stock and that kind of thing. And uh, I'm not crazy about this forearm this uh, and the rails, uh, but, you know, you can hang whatever you want on that. It, you know, I would probably switch that out if it were mine. Um, but I guess you could get some wood furniture and put on if you want from Century because it, it's all, they offer them with the wood furniture. So I would assume it's compatible. Let's take a couple more shots now. We didn't really get me rounds through it, did we? Pretty nifty gun. And again, the reviews seem to be pretty positive uh, that I've seen. You know, there's torture tests out there on the internet. There's a lot of people have shot them. Quite a few people own them. So, you know, whatever I think is just whatever I think or whatever my impression is. But uh, so far, it seems to be, uh, I'd say, more positive than negative. And again, I don't, you know, to have a milled receiver in a gun that works and seems accurate in the six seven hundred dollar range is uh it's it's definitely worth looking at at least okay oh, i love that sound don't you <laughs> uh, i like this sound even more <laughs> uh, there's that press tone can of de-icer that would not work when i needed it earlier this week in the ice storm
Now you work. <laughs> uh, what else needs shot? Oh, there's another two liter. Woo. Sweet, sweet. I could shoot that bucket. Just goes through it. Let's go instead over there and put one on, or try to put one on that uh, cinder block that somebody painted red. I bet it was John. Nice. I love it. I love it. And you know, well, let's see. I might not have enough ammo for. Oh, there's a pot. Do a little pot smoking. Woo! Took him off, didn't it? What else? Let's go with the red plate. Oop! Click. All right, let's make sure it's empty. Like I say, I, I'm really growing more and more fond of AKs. That is a sweet. I guess I know I'm really sick, but that's a, that's a nice sound. It really is. It, it rivals the sound of a pump action shotgun. Y'all just go do what you need to do. I'm going to sit here and rack it a little bit. <laughs> that, is, that is nice. Yeah, I mean, this thing... What can you say? It works and it feels good. Uh, you know, like I say, it, it feels you know, fairly smooth and uh, it's not broken in yet. Uh, it was brand new. But, you know, the sights are on and it's got a stock. Now, again, that's something that a purist might not, might not like, actually, because, you know, a real AK stock, real, quote unquote, might be about that long. But for me, if I'm going to enjoy an AK, I need some stock on that thing. And this thing is perfect. It is perfect, not adjustable, but it feels, it's right where it needs to be, okay? So, let's see if we have any more ammo. Yeah, we do. We have another, well, let's see. Let's try, uh, we're not going to, this is not the ultimate test or anything, but we'll shoot some different uh, magazines. Let's put a, uh, well, let's not think, well, let's go ahead with this. This is uh, Wolf. I got, just got some of this in, and this is made in the Ukraine. Maybe uh, that's good, right? So let's try that. And that's in a 40 round magazine. So there you go. <laughs> Looks like 40, 30, 25, doesn't it? No, two thirties. What an illusion that is. So I just like to mess with people's minds. All right. It's a 40 round circle 10 Bulgarian magazine. And uh, We'll see what we have to shoot here. You know what we've got? Well, we've got plenty of ammo. We have an old refrigerator. And that thing has made the rounds. It was in the dorm with John. It was in my reloading room. It finally quit working. Let's go down here and let it know what we think of that. Because it should have you know, lasted for about 30 years. But it did not. So... I th uh, hope we don't have too many beverages left in it, if anything. I'll bet we find out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did I shoot 40 rounds already? I can't believe that. When you're having fun, it's just a way to get some more ammo. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, that's nice. That refrigerator still has some life left in it for, for a 12 gauge, right? Or something like that. So, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, we got a couple of targets left. Uh, we shot it the, the, the first day we got it in. Uh, John really wore it out and it was so hot and smoking. And uh, we didn't put a thousand rounds through or anything, but we put about 100, 125 through it very quickly. I did some of that yesterday. I walked around the farm with a, a pocket full of a jacket, pocket full of magazines. And I did the same thing uh, a couple of times, and 
you know, I haven't been able to make it malfunction. You know, I think you've really accomplished something in general if you can make a, an AK malfunction. Now, if an AK malfunctions, you've got problems, right? Because that's just the, the nature of them is that they don't malfunction. You probably have a magazine problem if, uh, you know, if the AK is correct and there's not a something going on with it because uh, they just work. It's just a good design, right? Brilliant deduction, good design. So, we got now we're back to uh, Tula. Shoot some of that here a little bit. All right. What do we have? We have a two liter here that needs to be shot. <laughs> and we have, uh, let's finish off that cinder block. I see some little pieces. If I can, I'm not sure where to hold on that exactly. Hi. Yeah, sun's not. You know, I don't think I've missed a plate yet. We've got to shoot a. We've got to miss the plate. Okay, day's not complete if I don't miss it. Well, I apologize. I just can't miss it today for some reason. Uh, all right. Okay, we got a tiny cat's container full of water instead of kitty litter <laughs> yeah dance you rascal <laughs> hey, that was pretty good <laughs> oh sweet ah oh, is that nice what a sight that is cool i tell you uh an ak is is fun if Hopefully, you're not one of those people who still hates these things, you know, black guns in general and AKs especially, because you know me, I'm happy with an, a Colt single action or a muzzle loader. But these are these are fun too. They're just really uh, neat because they they work so well. They feel good. John and I were talking about before the video that there's something cool about an AK when it when you shoot it. This the that action, that long action, and the, the feel of it, and and then the cartridge, you know, that nice 30 round cartridge, that moderate, you know, round, uh, 7.62 by 39, it's just fun, fun to shoot, and uh, especially knowing it's going to work, because these these rascals just tend to work. And uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting all caught up in AK fever here. Was there anything else about this that I know now? You know, it's it's a, a I'm sure you saw the, the American flag on the side. It is rather you know unique in a, in a lot of ways a milled receiver all american made ak i think there are some others out there i'm not sure there's any uh, milled receiver ones milled receiver ones out there but uh and again there, there are things about it you could criticize kind of the funky uh forearm in a way and uh you know the stock of course ugly is as ugly does uh it feels good to me fits me perfectly so i don't really care what it's made of if it works one thing I did not mention, probably a lot of things I didn't mention, but we weighed this uh, alongside my scales are still out here at my uh, uh, arsenal. And it does have a replacement stock, you know, the adjustable uh, CAA stock. But this gun weighs four ounces lighter than my stamped AK. Okay, so, and, and that's one of the things you notice when you pick it up, it, it doesn't feel like extraordinarily heavy or anything you don't feel, oh that's obviously a milled receiver uh, maybe it's because of all the light plastic on it but it's not a, a really heavy gun it's uh, it's lighter than my arsenal you know and the only thing that's different about it is uh, it's the SGL 20 is again the stock is the adjustable stock so plus I think I have four rounds of 762 in the stock <laughs> but uh, this is four ounces lighter than that so it's a little bit surprising it's it's worked it's worked uh the, the four days we we fired it uh no problems today uh, two different kinds of magazines and i don't have a lot of metal magazines i just i'm i'm hooked on those circle 10 magazines they're great and uh then the ammo told you what we've been shooting so far what we could get so we'll shoot it some more we'll keep you apprised of what's going on and i did not want to forget my uh the shirt i appreciate the folks from uh connecticut uh citizens defense league you know sending me this shirt uh hope you caught the back side of that 
<laughs> but uh, I know they're really uh, in, a, in a battle up there and I've been in communication with them. Uh, wish I lived a little closer. I could get to that rally on the, on the what, the 5th of April, I think it is, but, uh, uh, but you guys stay in the fight up there and I hope everybody shows up at that, that rally by the tens of thousands or whatever it takes. But anyway, we don't wear a lot of t-shirts and advertise things, but uh, I was proud to wear this because uh, they're right up there on the forefront of the, of the battle right now. But anyway, nice AK as best I can tell. We'll shoot it, continue shooting it. We'll keep this for a long time and uh, just shoot the heck out of it over the, the weeks. And uh, if something breaks or quits working, we'll let you know. Life is good.